Have you ever drank a few beers in an evening only to find yourself feeling bloated and gassy afterward? Hey, this is Ryan from Beer By The Numbers, and every once in a while, some beer doesn't sit quite right in my gut, and I end up with a bunch of gas trying to escape it. In this video, we're going to try to find the root cause of beer farts, and maybe even try to find some solutions too. So as with most beer-related questions I have, I turned to Google first to try to find an answer. A lot of blogs and websites told me that since beer is carbonated, some of that CO2 makes it into your body and has to escape somehow. You know, maybe there's a little truth to this, but some 60 to 70% of gas that's contained in beer is released right away when you pour it, and unless you chug it immediately after pouring it, you'll end up consuming even less than the little minority of gas that's left. In addition, with the churning of your stomach, it's much more likely that the CO2 ends up as a burp rather than a fart. There's really just not a lot of science backing up that the carbonation in beer is the culprit behind beer farts, and it seems to me to be a much too simple explanation. Diving a little further into research, Wikipedia told me, quote, Flatulence producing foods are typically high in certain polysaccharides, and that includes beans, lentils, milk, onions, radishes, sweet potatoes, cheese, cashews, artichokes, oats, yeast in breads, and some other vegetables. Now, if we think back to our four basic ingredients in beer, water, hops, malt, and yeast, we have two ingredients that may be problematic when it comes to producing extra gases the barley malt, and the yeast. Let's start with the malt. Malted barley provides yeast all the sugar it needs to ferment into alcohol and is one of the main flavoring components in beer. Now while a lot of leftover sweetness and malt compounds add a lot of flavor when they react with the taste buds in your mouth, your body still has to break them down later. In addition, the billions of bacteria that live in your gut can react to these leftover sugars or those other flavor compounds by producing gas as a byproduct of their digestion efforts. And then there's yeast. With the rise in popularity of both homebrewing and unfiltered and unpasteurized real ales, drinkers are being exposed to a lot more brewer's yeast than they are used to. The suspended yeasts in those bottles and casks tend to break down in a gassy way when digested. Even the Wikipedia article I quoted earlier mentioned bread yeasts can produce excess gas. So what can you do if you're a lover of malty, unfiltered stouts? One beer expert may have the answer. Matt Simpson is a certified beer sommelier and beer judge and is also the proprietor of Beer Aid. According to his website, Beer Aid and its proprietary digestive enzyme formula works in the small intestine to break apart malt sugars from beer, making them more digestible, especially today's big, sweet craft beers. Apparently, all you need to do is just take a couple of the Beer Aid capsules before each beer, and you and your entire household will be much happier for it. They have a bunch of user testimonials at the website, so I'll leave a link in the description below. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag would totally take a sponsor. Anyway, there you have it, beer nerds. The inside story on Inside Gas. Does your body react any weird ways while digesting beer? If so, let me know in the comments section below, and I'll see you in the next video.